Hello, I'm Daria from SoulScreen.io and today we're going to talk about the criteria for the winning products on marketplaces such as Amazon UAE KSA and Noon UAE and KSA. So, uh, the as at SoulScreen as uh, like analytics software which helps sellers to make right decision on uh, product hunting, I have around eight criteria. We also use those criteria to hunt the product that we sell and uh, the, one of the first and main criteria is actually margin of the product. So the key thing, as I always say, for any sellers and maintaining positive unit economy, what does it mean? It means that you generating money, more money than you actually spend to run the business. And uh, simply speaking, uh, the margin is actually the difference between the price you're selling and actually the cost of goods basically is the ratio uh, of profit to revenue. Easy speaking, like your margin should be 35 to 50%. There are also key criteria which calls gross profit. And for the gross profit, usually, for sellers on uh, big marketplaces such as Amazon US, this is the, this could be around 15%. And for those who sell in on actually on marketplaces such as uh, Amazon UAE, it could be higher. So most of the clients we work with, they work on you know like margin around 25-30%, and it's actually like totally makes sense to them. And I think uh, you need to maintain kind of the same the same uh, ratio, or like 15 to 30 percent, supposed to be your net profit. The next thing is actually number of variations of your product. So for the variations, I mean the colors the sizes so it's good then you give clients something to choose or then your products is actually can be modified and like more adjust to customer but the issue with that that you're gonna have more like dead stocks than the products which doesn't have any variations so if you want to play this game the variations i recommend you to have at least like at most four variations per SQ. It, it is very key thing, believe me. Another thing is actually material type. So then the sourcing, they are looking for that kind of products which are not breakable. It's very, very important, which are non-fragile. Basically, so that kind of product that could be uh, good enough to survive the transportation from another country to their house and for customer to from the warehouse to customer and from customer maybe be returned back and sometimes return could be you know like multiple times so you need to be sure that that product is actually quite resistant to uh, all of those factors then it's also supposed to be not breakable in terms of you know sometimes there is electronics or some kind of difficult devices difficult mechanism it could be easily broken uh, and it, especially it's consists on you know like few spare parts you know like some of the parts could be you know just 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 uh, fall off and being uh, forgetting somewhere so it could be like multiple issues with that product so really suggest you if you're especially if you're a beginner as a as a, if you begin as a seller please don't go with those categories for example like electronics where you have high uh, return rate or for example those categories like where we have like very fragile products then uh, the next thing is actually the size of your product 
So it's very key thing for the Amazon because it may uh, differentiate your actually your price for the storage. So for Amazon, uh, like most of the products which are like longer than 30 centimeters could be like considered as oversized products. So try to find that kind of product which else is small because it's like big different how much you're gonna spend on like standard size products and oversized products uh, and especially if you gonna have some stocks for a while on the warehouse it means that your expense is gonna be expanding and this is not what you want there are also a few more uh, things which you actually check with sales screen now first is actually ratings so it's 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 actually a difficult question because most of the sellers, most of the experts, they say like, oh, choose to choose the products with their ratings more than 3.5. But what I, I would suggest to you is to go, for example, here in Sales Screen IO, we have like uh, for each product, we have all the reviews for that product. So what I suggest is go and check all of those uh, reviews. What actually customers say? And it actually could be the way you're going to win the competition. It's actually could be the reason why customers are going to choose your product over your competitors. So maybe you can get insights from those negative reviews and get some added value to your product. So that product don't going to get that negative reviews anymore. But yes, then you ch choosing the products with their very low ratings just you need to understand why the rating is so low and why it's basically then the rating is low it means that the products it's not meet expectation of the customers so you need to actually analyze what exactly done wrong that it could be the content it could be their um the product quality so you need to be a uh, very transparent with customer on that the next thing which I think is the key and which you also can check with their sales screen IO is actually number of sales. So the product uh, should be sold around two, three hundred per week, which means around eight hundred per month. And it also depends on what the average price of your product. But if your product is around between 550 to 100 dirhams, basically 15 to 30 dollars, you definitely want to have that sales on your product because that indicates that the niche you are in is healthy, that there are some specific demand on that product. That the next important factor is actually the price. Some experts saying that your price definitely should be 50 to 100 dirhams or 15 to 30 dollars. Um, but um, I would say this is this works, especially if you gonna feel if you wanna feel the specific income out of your actions, out of your trade. Although if you don't have a big budget, I always suggest you to go to cheaper products, get your experience, and then go to the, the, the more expensive products. Because cheap products is easy to sell. There is like less possibility to actually froze your froze your money in stock, which you prepared for marketplace. Uh, and also, it's usually the, the sales of velocity uh, for that kind of products is quite high. For cheap products, the issue could be that you need to to to, to be in the price worth if some suppliers, for example, from China or some like very uh, beginners, which which don't understand their the, the, how actually the marketplace works. But what I would say is, if you don't have sufficient budget for your sub 
for your procurement just go with the cheaper price products so you can actually procure enough products for your for your store and another thing which you can check is, is actually stock count so how many stock each seller has on their warehouse or in marketplace warehouse in sales scenario we uh, differentiate their fbs fbn fba and and fbm so basically when fulfillment is done by marketplace and fulfillment done by seller so uh, you can check all of this data and make decision actually would you like to would you be able actually to have that much stock or is that make sense to have that much stock or you can clearly see that in the market there are lack of that kind of products and the suppliers which will supply that specific product they have very little stock left another two things to check is actually you need to check if that product that you sell is seasonal product by seasonal i think i mean for example the products for christmas they are great but the issue is that for uh, uie is very specific time it's literally two or three weeks in the end of December. So you need to be really fast. And if you're a beginner, it's sometimes it could be quite challenging. And I suggest you don't overestimate yourself. But and I suggest you to play safe game and not to go for the seasonal products at first. And uh, the next thing is actually check the trending products. If there are products which are already selling on marketplaces and like really, really, really good and it has like really big number of sales, just think maybe this is the, the, the end of the, this wave. Um, of course, you can check it with sales screen IO, but you definitely don't want to sell that kind of products. Just try to differentiate yourself a bit from the market. We're gonna talk more about the product search uh, in other video. Thank you very much for your attention and hopefully this video was helpful for you. And please subscribe uh, to our channel and put thumbs up. Thank you and see you soon.